Good morning, Lewis. I am Allison Lankwitz with Logan Cap as usual, and thank you for joining us this Thanksgiving break week. I know it's exciting. Good morning, Flyers. We are happy to start the day off with you as you finish up classes and get ready to celebrate this food filled holiday. I am so excited. <laughs> I actually have to catch a flight later. I'm oh going to go gosh. visit my family and oh, I'm just so ready for break. <laughs> I'm ready for the turkey. I don't know. Are you, are you a turkey fan? I like the turkey, but I think my favorite is the stuffing. I don't know. Yeah. What's your favorite? I, I like turkey, uh, I think. Okay. I mean, people call me turkey all the time. so Do they? Kinda, they That's do. your new nickname? Well, Tur you know. Turkey cap? I kind of <laughs> am a turkey, though. So. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not going to argue. Let's see what's going on in the world by checking the latest trending topics. I'm excited for this right. week. This is going to be fun. Yeah. No. Uh, we have we have some good ones this week. The TikTok. The TikTok. Well, just, just we'll, you wait. we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> All right. Let's see number one. All right. This was mine. So our women's volleyball team is once again the GLVC champs. They oh. are the queens of the GLVC. They took down number three ranked nationally, Umsol in the championship um, and so? um, so University of Missouri St. Louis really good team in division two mm. in our conference as well wow. I think we've moved from number 13 to number 11 or 12 now in the nation wow um, in D2 women's volleyball yeah so With the we, upset. we took them down in three sets that's so awesome it, we yeah it was an amazing game I think in the whole game they really only had four errors Wow. Like four forced errors, yeah. Wow. So now they're they're not in the national tournament now, right? Is they that, are. Is they that just got on? their bid. They're playing, I think it's Rockhurst, I okay. want to say. Awesome. Well, that'll be fun. That'll yep. be something to look forward so to. Excited. Again, Flyer Athletics <sighs> doing great as per usual. They're always, yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, we've got a whole bunch of athletics. We, we had um, cross-country teams, mm -hmm. men's and women's did well at, at the nationals. Yep. Over the weekend as well. I believe the soccer team yep. did well as they well. I mean, everybody's just... Really killing awesome. it. Yeah. I, I love to see that. <laughs> um, all, right. all right. Well, if we can see trending topic number two, please, then we, uh, we can get going. All right. Well, speaking of that, this was a uh, cross country team. I got ahead of myself a little bit. <laughs> uh, they placed 15th, the women did, and I believe the men placed 20. First, 20th, 21st, around there. Uh, around there. Um, so again, congratulations. Uh, that concludes the season. For it the does. cross country oh, team, wow. so as they a lot, of, I think a lot of those people are also uh, track, track runners. Field, so yep. they'll be uh, preparing for the track season in the spring. It but never ends for them. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and again, I, running, I, I don't understand how they can run. Yeah. Uh, running was never my thing. It, <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> uh, but yeah, congratulations again to Lewis Cross Country Men's and Women's Team. Yes. They did great. Good, great to see you again, yes. Flyer Athletics. We're going to stick with the trend, I think, of the athletics, because I think I got one more oh coming. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> uh, the men's soccer team actually won in penalty kicks, so they are moving on to the Sweet 16 round okay. in the tournament. Um, and it was also Coach Feifel's birthday wow. over the weekend, so what a way to celebrate. Well, so, happy yeah. birthday to Coach Evan Feifel. Yeah. Love I, that. This was actually also the second game in a row that they've gone into penalty kicks. So wow. Sure. And, and I, that's intense. And I think I saw that. I on their social media. Yep. I saw that somewhere. There was a pretty intense oh, uh, yeah. celebration at the end Oh there. my gosh, yeah. They stormed the field. Yeah, it was, great. It was fantastic. Yeah, a lot of energy. Love that. Yeah. Flyer Athletics. Yeah. Athletic filled episode today. Yeah, sorry. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Too much going on um, with this one. But I know the fact the next one is not athletic related. And before, I'm going to preface this by saying this dad joke was found last oh, week. Oh my. And I was just so excited <laughs> I, I had to show it today. So if we can see it. Did I read this? What is this? It says, what do you call a person who can balance on a 30-foot unicycle? What? Wheelie talented. Okay. That one was good. Wheelie talented. That, that is funny. from Ringling Brothers <laughs> Circus, who is back in who uh, is back touring again, by the way. Because they? They, they took a couple years off there. But okay. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna go off and join the circus, which was always a dream of mine, by the way. Was it? But uh, yeah, we can go off and uh, and be on the unicycle, but yeah. <laughs> so what? Would, so you'd be a unicycle rider? In the yeah, circus? yeah. I don't you? I have a unicycle. I should have brought you? a photo of that. I can't, or ne maybe next week I'll be I'll be riding in <laughs> on the unicycle. Show on Good Morning, <laughs> Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to see that, but yeah, we um, somewhere there exists. I think uh, on WLRA there's a there's a video of me riding the oh unicycle. My gosh. So you have to go have check to that it. out on yeah. Instagram at WLRA Radio Station. But um, yeah, no, unicycle would be my. Um, 
talent of choice, what, what would yours be if you joined the circus? What would mm, Juggling, but not like regular juggling, juggling a soccer ball. Because I could do that for like hours straight. You've never seen someone juggle a soccer yeah, ball? No, I have. I don't know. Is oh, that yeah. a circus talent though? It is, because I can do some really cool tricks. See, I feel like you would be the one in the tiger cage. You'd be like... I'd be the clown. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well... Enough said anyway, there. <laughs> enough, enough clowning around. Let's see our TikTok, which I'm really excited about. Oh my god. So gosh. this individual couldn't find their Roomba, which is like the vacuum cleaner that goes around your house. Um, they couldn't find it, but they saw that video on their ring doorbell camera. Um, and it was skedaddling away. I yeah. mean, that's hilarious. Don't and, we I feel like we need to preface this by saying out of all the times we've been doing this show, yeah. that was including when I was doing it with Hannah before, mm -hmm. we have never sent, we have never found the exact same TikTok. We both sent this until one. until we both found this one, and then yep. Allie's all like, "Oh, I found it first. I sent it first. I did, and it has over four million, four million likes. Wow. On TikTok. Well, that I mean that is a quality talk right there. I, I laughed really hard when I saw <laughs> I did too. it. Imagine your Roomba's like leaving your house. How messy is your house that it just well, clocked out and left? I mean, it's like. I'm out, yeah. you know. <laughs> I gotta get one. Those are, stuff. they have like their personality though. Have you, I don't know if no. you have a Roomba. Not I don't, cool. but I've seen like, if they approach like a, a stairs or like something, they'll be like, help, we found a cliff. That's and they're like hanging off. Funny. <laughs> I want to get one of those. I need one for my dorm room. Well, I eat, well yeah, I, you know, I definitely do. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Roombas. We should just get one in here and have it just like, zoom. It have you ever seen it? That people put cords. like a cone on it or something? And then yes. It, yeah. I saw a little um, teacup Yorkie sitting on one once on TikTok, and it was just going all around the whole room. That's a good mode of transportation. Yeah, so. I think so. I've definitely seen a few babies on there before, oh, yeah. just like chilling out and going, yeah. zooming around. All right, around. Christmas present. <laughs> yep, there we Christmas go. Christmas present for uh, the, the studio here. I love that. Yep. <laughs> all right, well, we've got another TikTok here that we can go ahead and take a look at, please. All right, well, oh we my. talked a little bit about our favorite food. I think I just, first of all, this song, totally unfitting for Thanksgiving because we're, it, it's not Christmas yet. Oh, you're one of okay. those. Well, no, no, no. No. It has to be at least Thanksgiving. All right. Right? All right, fine. Um, Close enough. But nachos. Hello. That, that was like a table full that was of a, nachos. A full on, yeah, table. What? But did you see whose cheese, whose cheese was that, though? Did you, did oh. you see whose it was? It was, it was nacho cheese. Oh my, I fell right into that one. Was, I bam, walked got into it. Oh man. Um, but uh, no, but speaking of Christmas music, I don't know, you're the general manager at WLRA. Uh -huh. We're, we're starting switching Christmas over. Christmas music. When is that happening? Um, well, the last shows for everyone were today. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, because tomorrow we won't have classes. So right. we're switching over this week. We're getting ready. Um, it should be straight Christmas music through December and I believe the day after Thanksgiving, yep. right? So yeah. Friday, Black Friday, yep. so, Christmas music, 88.1 FM. Yes, and I know a lot of people really love it. So, and if you ever wanted to maybe even request a specific Christmas song, you could, because I know Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You is my favorite. So. I know, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, Christmas music, all sorts of variety too, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah. We've got old stuff, new yeah. stuff. Uh, and so it's, you got to set it, set that preset right yep. at the start of that FM dial 88.1 and uh, you'll be on your way for your new Christmas oh, yeah. favorites. You got to love that. I, yep. I love Christmas music though. I, Christmas as is much as I like to just wait until after Thanksgiving, after that, it's all Christmas all right. till January 1st. I don't know why you like to wait. Like, uh, uh, I can't well, wait. Well, but just it, it's excited. always better when you wait for it, you know. I guess. So. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Well, next up we have some feel good stories sure to brighten your day. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, feel good flyer time. <laughs> My favorite. Well, it was a happy ending for a shelter dog named Elvis. Check him out. The Anti-Cruelty Society in Chicago hosted an animal shelter adoption event last weekend, and Elvis was the only dog not to get adopted. Oh. Oh no. Local what? media did a report on Elvis, which a couple saw, however, and decided that they wanted to adopt. The Anti-Cruelty Society says the 
adopting couple is quote head over heels in love with their new family member and already has a dog bed and tons of toys waiting for him at his forever home oh Aww. that caught me off guard i, know, I was right? like oh no he didn't get adopted <laughs> uh, happy ending though that is a happy ending the elvis is a great name for a I dog though how, how do you think he got that name uh i don't well, know well he's not a hound dog so well, i don't know <laughs> Hey, there you go. Good one. I get the dad. I don't know. Dad, I was so. thinking more of his barking with me. Hey, 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 hey. You know, kind of like that. You've heard, you've heard dogs bark like that, right? That's a maybe pretty good dog. Maybe in my nightmares, but. Hey, hey. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Elvis nightmares, maybe. I guess. But. Uh, I love that. that well, they call him the king for not, you know. But I, anyway. <laughs> we're. I don't know what we're doing, but. We're uh, getting off. <laughs> a time honored tradition took place recently in Washington D.C where President Biden issued pardons for two turkeys. We've got a couple of turkeys on this show right here ahead <laughs> of Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, the turkeys named Liberty and Bell spent Sunday oh, at the famous Willard Hotel just blocks away from the White House. Look at those big old birds I right know. there. Oh my gosh. The turkeys are from Minnesota together weighing combined 84 pounds. Wow. It's a big bird. The National Turkey Federation organizes this event each year and has been a tradition since 1947, when President Harry Truman welcomed the first national Thanksgiving turkey. The National Turkey Federation says that Liberty and Bell have received their pardons. They will spend the rest of their days at the University of Minnesota College and Food, Agriculture and Natural Resource Science in St. Paul. Wow. I, you know, I've never really seen so many pictures of turkeys. They, I just didn't think that they'd look like that. <laughs> Uh, they looked angry, <laughs> didn't they? Even though they just got pardoned, they looked very angry. Uh, yeah, and you know what's funny is I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I don't, I'm not used to seeing turkeys with the feathers. I know, on, you that's know? why and, I'm, and oh, I feel so bad. But. I'm like, that, that, uh, there's no way that, I don't know. They, those look bigger than I thought that they were. Exactly. I mean, I'm used and to like, you know. Those two together, 84 pounds. That's a big turkey. Big it's a big birds. bird. They're big birds. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to a different food. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch him because he's the gingerbread man. Or maybe you can catch him because today is National Gingerbread Cookie Day. Wow. I love gingerbread cookies. So it do comes I. at the perfect time with the holiday season upon us. Many celebrate the holidays by turning the cookies into gingerbread houses. Gingerbread has been around for centuries, dating back to at least 1992 AD. To celebrate the holiday, you can either make your own gingerbread man or buy one of those kits and build a gingerbread house. I love those gingerbread houses. I love building them. I get the little packs at Target. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I'm like, I'm a strict architect. I make some really good houses. Wow. Yep. I don't know. I, have, I do have one question, though. What? Do you know oh the Muffin gosh. Man? I can't with you today. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> wow! Is it because I look like Lord Farquaad? <laughs> No, it's because he's the gingerbread man. <laughs> well, wow! I do know the gingerbread man. I love gingerbread cookies. I can't wait to bake holiday cookies. My family always bakes so many around Christmas. We have a yeah. decorating competition. Ooh, I'm so excited. Well, Gingy's my favorite character on Shrek, so. I love Shrek, too. <laughs> I got my Gingy right. impression. <laughs> We're ready to go! Oh, boy! That was Mickey. No, oh, no. Oh, that boy? was Gingy. Right, we'll argue about this the one later. Man. <laughs> wow! Well, anyway, we have a very special guest coming up next, so make sure you stay with us. Be one of them through about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. There's so many rewards in life. You coming into our home was one of the greatest rewards we could have ever had. You know, it took 20 years, and I got my third child, who was 17 at the time. It's so cool to watch the adult that you've become, and you really have done as much for us as you think we've done for you.
I am here now with Abdullah Osmani, one of the select few students in the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine Early Acceptance Program. He's here to talk about Lewis's affiliation and what the program does for students aspiring to be in the medical field. Hi Abdullah, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi Allison, great to be here, thank you for inviting me. Of course. So this program is, is really exciting and not very many people know about it. So just to start, could you tell me a bit about what it is and how students can get involved? Yeah, sure. Uh, so LECOM stands for Lake uh, Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. It has three different schools. You have uh, dental, you have pharmacy, and you have medicine. And so LECOM uh, Early Acceptance Pro Program offers uh, students a way to secure a seat or guarantee a seat um, during their uh, senior year of high school up until their sophomore year. Or if you're in the program, then you have uh, until the whole undergrad. So how did you yourself hear about this program? And I know your sister's in it as well, yes, so how did is. you both come? Uh, so I first initially heard uh, about this program from a friend of mine who also went to Lewis and who was in the program. He mentioned uh, about this, but I never actually took it seriously. But uh, after coming here, I looked more into the program and uh, talked to my advisor about it. Um, that's when I was committed and then also my sister. Nice. So I know it's a very tight knit group and there's not very many students. So how right. many are there and how did you guys all sort of get involved and what right. does it mean for you? Yeah. So uh, currently uh, uh, in this class, me, uh, including myself, there are four students in this program. And the, the process of getting into it is relatively very simple than compared to other uh, traditional routes. Um, you apply to the program uh, once you meet certain criteria like your GPA and a certain SAT score. Um, and once you're in the program, you basically have to maintain um, certain GPA through the uh, process of your undergraduate. Nice, mm -hmm. and I, I know you weren't um, initially going to join the medical right. field. That's you right. were sort of studying a couple different things. So what did right. you start out as and what uh, did you decide? Yeah, even though I heard about this program er early on, uh, I never took it seriously, actually, and um, I, met Dr. Roberts here at Lewis during my freshman year. She was the one to initiate that and really encouraged me to apply to the program. And so I started looking into it and basically go through the process. Um, like I mentioned, uh, we, we are very thrilled. Um, you know, uh, it takes burden off of your shoulders, oh, yeah. not having to apply during the third and fourth year where you're uh, bombarded with these all these mm -hmm. science classes that you have to take. Also, if you're uh, preparing for MCAT, there's wow. also uh, <laughs> tons of stress uh, on your shoulders. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a huge benefit, not having to take that. Right. I know yeah. I have a couple friends that have taken the MCAT, and right. that's all they really, I mean, I think they took a whole year off just yeah. to study, so right. huge benefit. Right. Um, and so I know that there's four campuses, so mm -hmm. you're currently at Lake, Lake Erie, mm -hmm. um, but how many other campuses are there? Where are they? And right. what are the pathways that they have? Yeah. So you, you said you uh, rightly said that there are four campuses. There are two in Pennsylvania. One is in Erie, and the other one is Greensburg. Mm -hmm. uh, the third campus is in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, gosh, a really beautiful campus. Mm -hmm. uh, fourth is in Elmira, New York. Um, there are also a few different learning choices that student can choose based off of their uh, learning styles. Mm -hmm. um, first of them is being um, lecture-based pathway. Uh, this is your traditional go to the lecture, attend the lecture, mandatory mm -hmm. lecture, teachers teach you and um, yeah and then the second one is the uh, PBL which is uh, problem-based learning. This is more for people who want, uh, who want uh, sort of a flexible um, study schedule and they want to do their own independent study. Mm -hmm. This is great for them and that you are assigned a case, a patient case, and you solve through, the, uh, through that case um, with a group of students that you're assigned with. Um, and you just basically acquire the medical knowledge through that. Uh, the, third pro, uh, the third pathway is directed study pathway. This is a, basically a blend of the first two uh, in that you have the modules from your lecture-based program, but you are independent uh, studying independent and have that flexibility that the uh, PBL offers. The fourth one is uh, primary, uh, primary Care scholar, Scholars Program. This is more for students who, who are interested in pursuing career in uh, primary care. 
Um, yeah. So like I said, I'm more inclined towards uh, Leak Erie, uh, which offers the LDP pathway, mm -hmm. the lecture-based pathway. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know you have a lot of time ahead of you to think about this, but do you have any idea what kind of doctor maybe you want to be in the future? Um, so I, I have a little idea, but I still want to uh, see what, uh, what they have to offer and what, are, what interests me. Yeah. Um, when I get to the medical school. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, take your time to think yeah. about it. There's so many options to right. explore. So, yes. well, thank you so much for joining me, Abdullah, and for telling us about this wonderful program. And thank we you. wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Lewis. I would. I would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change, I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Well, that is it for today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Good Morning, Lewis. Thank you for tuning in. It was a fun time. I'm glad it we was. got to, to meet on this wonderful Thanksgiving week. Hopefully, we all have a good break. Yes. Uh, I know you're going home. I'm staying here. So yes. hopefully, we'll all have, we'll have fun. Yeah. Right? It'll be, I'll it'll miss be a you good guys holiday. when I'm gone. Yeah, I'll miss you. <laughs> so, all right. Well, have a great Thanksgiving. We'll be back next week. Thank Bye, everyone. <laughs>